one with the van and we're doing a deep clean inside and out. You can see Tyson is waxing her up. Wax on, wax off. And I am on the inside doing a deep clean, which it really needs. It's pretty gross. We've got to figure out how to get rid of the mothball smell. Any ideas? It's, it's bad. bad. Today is day two of cleaning the van. We vacuumed everything and did some carpet cleaning on the inside. We'll take you in there and kind of show you what it's looking like. Cleaned up pretty well. And we're done cleaning the interior. So Tyson wanted to show you guys. This is disgusting, by the way. This is all of the mank water, watch your shoes, that here. came out. Look oh, at that. Okay. What is all that stuff? That just came out of inside the van and the carpet. I don't even want to know what it is. It kind of resembles some type of animal. But I mean, this water is disgusting. So. It's a lot cleaner now. Just have to register it, get some plates on it, get insurance on it, and uh, yeah, pack it up, I guess. And some other tune-up type things. That's maybe tomorrow or Friday or something. Today is supposed to be departure day. This isn't a great way to start things out, but I was gonna take recycling out this morning. I came out and started the van and then went to load it to find that all of the doors were locked. We have a spare key. However, it is on the keychain with the key that's in the ignition right now. So the van's running, it's been like this for like 40 minutes. And we're working on getting it unlocked. We just found a metal hanger. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're giving it all we've got. I think I got it. What? Who's a career criminal, bitches? Well, what we found out about the situation with the keys getting locked in the car is when you start the van, the doors automatically lock. That's not something that we knew, but we know now. and. We have the spare on the outside of the vehicle now, which will do us a lot better than being inside. So we're getting ready to leave and I'm just finishing up some maintenance things. I still need to take the wheels off on the front and check the brakes. We've put new tires on. Uh, we've changed the transmission fluid along with the filter, changed the differential fluid in the rear, put in a new stereo that's Bluetooth so we can actually use our phones with it. The other one was just a CD player, didn't do us a lot of good. I just tightened up the steering box on the front. We did have a little bit of wander in the steering wheel and that kind of helped to take up some of that play. You can see that we have the hitch bike rack sitting down here. I built a different system for it yesterday to get it up off the ground because the swing away base by Coat just sits a little bit low. And so going in dips and stuff or driveways, I think it would maybe drag on the ground. So I built it up. We're gonna put that on here in a little bit. And as you remember, we did the deep clean on the inside of the van. That's kind of an ongoing process. Right now, Callie is inside and she is getting a bunch of food prepared for the trip. It smells pretty good in here. See her little workstation is going crazy we've got a ton of apples just the other day we discovered this new thing where you cut up apples into little tiny pieces super thin throw some cinnamon on them and bake them for a really long time and to do all those apples we'll be here for 12 hours she's gonna be here till tonight but they are delicious got some meat going into whatever this guy is, the food saver. 
and some pulled pork is in the instant pot. So I think some meals that we have planned, pulled pork, tacos, fajitas, spicy burritos. We're really going with the Mexican theme here. You see the taco meat, bam, right there. So we should have, yeah, that does look kind of gross. Wait till it's frozen and we're trying to thaw it. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna finish some stuff in here, start packing the van and hopefully get out of here at a reasonable time. However, with our trips, it's usually like, oh, we're gonna try to leave on Monday and we're leaving on Thursday. But we can't really let that happen on this one. So we're really pushing to get out of here today. Well, this is possibly a little, little bit of a bummer. Not the end of the world, but I told you that I built this little extension for our rack. And this is what I built, that piece there. And basically all it does is it takes this swing away and moves it up a lot higher off the ground because it usually would sit way down here and I think it would hit the ground going into parking lots and that kind of stuff. However, now that I have it all together and I put the mountain bikes on it, I think there's just way too much extension going on. You can see how far out it sticks from the van. And I knew it would stick further out. I just didn't realize, I guess, how far out it would stick until I actually put it all together. I'm already reducing the weight capacity of the hitch by having that extension. And then this swing away base made by Coat is basically another extension. So I kind of have two in the system, which probably isn't great, but I'm really nervous about this making it 5,000 miles without the hitch breaking off in the current setup. So I may have to take my little extension off and just be really careful pulling into parking lots, but we'll see. After getting it all together in the current configuration, I think this is how we're gonna go. And you can see I don't have my extension in there, just the swing away base. And it does hang a little low, I don't know if it's gonna hit, I think if we're super careful, but what the concern is that the axle here is pretty far forward compared to the rear of the van. If the axle was more right here, I wouldn't be so concerned, but there's just a lot of distance there and going into parking lots and stuff, I think that's where the bottom of that may hit. Hopefully we don't bend anything if it does, but Kuat has since, redesigned that entire pivot base and it doesn't hang nearly as low anymore so that may be something for the future we'll just kind of see how it goes on this trip but it's just the bolt that's hanging down we could always replace that if we scrape it up but like i said i just don't want to bend anything so just have to be kind of careful with it at least in this configuration i don't think that i will break the hitch off the van which before with my extension in there, I just don't think it was gonna work. There's a theme where we're going, and that theme is that Callie and I both procrastinate a little bit. Unfortunately, the other person should compliment the other person. And Callie and I do, I think, a pretty good job of that. Except in the procrastination department, we both procrastinate. And what I'm talking about is that the van has not been registered or plated and we were leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. But we did not get plates yet. So at about 4.15, Callie went to get plates for the van, which we've just been packing all day. It's not like we could not have done it at another time. Heck, I've run into town a couple times today and I didn't do it. So Callie's like, okay, I'm gonna go get plates. Great. Well. They close at four o'clock. We did not realize that. So what our plan is, 
or originally was, is to leave here tonight. We're just gonna go over to Moab, which is only about a five hour drive. And we want to ride the whole enchilada, which is a mountain bike ride. It starts way up high in the La Salles and we've never been able to do it because it always gets snow, usually right when we wanna do it. And we're almost to November and it's still 100% open, but it's time is limited. They have been getting a little bit of rain but not enough to shut it down. It's not turned to snow up there yet. Whatever has snowed has been a skiff and we've been getting quite a lot of snow here. North of us probably has a few inches on the ground. So um, I thought maybe they would close it or maybe Moab would get some snow, but they haven't. So I think the new plan is now to leave tomorrow afternoon, go to Moab. Instead of driving kind of late at night, we'll get there early in the evening, hang out there, and then on Wednesday, because today's Monday, on Wednesday we will ride it, and then we'll just have kind of a late night of driving as our destination is San Francisco, which is about 12 hours from Moab, or from Salt Lake. It's probably like 15 from Moab, but that's the new plan. We procrastinate, and it has bitten us this time. All right, we're pretty much packed and we're gonna finish a few things inside. I'm gonna make a little bit more food. Everything is kinda in its place at this point. We've got the fridge to fill. We're gonna do that in the morning, last thing. I still need to make the bed. I kinda forgot about that. Our clothes are packed. Our swimsuits are packed. Our bike stuff is packed. We just gotta get this thing registered in the morning. Get a weight on it. Tyson wants to weigh it. Make sure we're not uh, way too heavy. Otherwise he'll lose sleep at night. And I think we're ready to go at that point. We've got our Baja California Almanac. So in the morning we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna start a new vlog at that point. Stay tuned.